I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you the substitution method to find integrals. Now in the given example we have product of two functions 2x plus 1 times e to the power of something and we also observe that derivative of the exponent of e is very much related to 2x plus 1. So that gives us an idea that we could do substitution. So if I write u equals to 2x squared plus 2x, I get du equals to 4x plus 2 dx, right? Now, this is 2x plus 2, but 4x plus 2, you could factor this, so you can write du equals to 2 times 2x plus 1 dx, right? That just makes sense to you. Now you can see the relation. So let me rewrite this. We could rewrite this as e to the power of 2x squared plus 2x and here we have 2x plus 1 dx. Since it is 2 times what we can do is we can multiply and divide by 2 right. So we could do multiplication by 2 and divide by 2. Does it make sense? It is the same thing right. Now we'll do the substitution taking this 2 outside since it's a constant applying the properties of log integrals we get half of now this portion e to the power of u we can write this as e to the power of u and 2 times this is du right so, so we get our integral now this could be written as half e to the power of u plus c now replacing u with what we substituted we have e to the power of 2x squared plus 2x as a result of this particular integral right so that is how you could do it. So you must have seen by now this substitution is a very good technique. It could be applied in cases where we have products or quotients, right? And one more thing which we have to read, see is that the derivative of one of the functions is, is actually the other function. So that is kind of important to observe. If you get that kind of a scenario, then substitution is a very, very effective technique. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. And don't forget to put some likes. Thank you and all the best.